Hey guys, Jeff here. It's been a little while since I've done a video and I was working on my Mario Goblins, so I thought I'll do a quick video about how I do my cave or mountain style bases. Just got a little armored Mori Goblin here, which I'm going to be using. Um, so the first step, which I've already done before the video I did last night, is I just use a, a fine sand on the base, which you can probably see there. Um, I just glue that on some PVA, then let it dry overnight. Um, and then I just put a couple of different paints on it. So I start with Mechanica Standard Grey as a base, then I dry brush brush it up with um, a little bit of, I mix a little bit of white in with the grey, and then I also do a highlight with Rekar Flesh. So I'll uh, get into the first coat, and I'll see you after that. So that uh, first base coat is done, and just let that dry. Should only take a couple minutes uh, to dry up, for, ready for the next stage. It doesn't have to be completely dry, just mostly dry. Yeah. Okay, so the next step is to um, just use a little bit of skull white with them kind of scan standard grey to um, just lighten the grey a little bit and do a bit of a dry brush. And you see, it's not 100% dry, but it's dry enough for purposes of this. So I normally just do about a 50-50 mix and you don't really need that much because you're only doing, we're only going to be doing a dry brush with it. So it's only going to get on like the top layers. Now this can be a pretty heavy dry brush, you don't have to be like, too light handed with it. because. Um, it really just adds a bit of dimension to it, sort of a mid-tone for when we go a bit more extreme. There, yeah, it's a quick step. Um, and you can see, it's just sort of added a little bit of a range to the greys, especially if you compare it to, let's say, the side. It might be a bit easier to compare the side to the top. It just adds a little, the depth. Of the, for the ground. And the next step is you don't really have to wait, that'll dry pretty quick. Um, just usually wait about the time it takes to shake your paint pot. Is to add a little bit of rack art flesh. Now, this I tend to go a lot lighter with than. This I tend to go a lot lighter with than the uh, Skull White Mechanica Standard Grey Mix. So apologies if the rain and thunder is a bit loud. We just got hit with a storm. So yeah, and that's the same thing. Just get. Oh, I was a bit heavy-handed there, but you mostly just want to hit the very ridges with this. And it doesn't matter if you do what I just did and put a big. Uh, bit down because we still have another highlight to go and then um, I'll be adding a couple little accents which I can cover it up with if I decide to. So yeah, it should look something like that. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. Yeah, so you just want to sort of hit the very tops with the Rekar Flesh. It just adds a different tone as opposed to grey to the ground. It makes it uh, be a bit less just like flat. Um, so yeah, now the final bit is just a little bit of skull white, and you're going to be like very, very light with this. It's the smallest amount on a brush. 
wipe it off on some paper towel or even whatever you have to wipe your brush off with and just go in and be very light with it sometimes you'll think you're not even really putting any paint on but the end result's usually pretty nice because it'll get just the very very tops yeah it should look something like that I don't know how well it'll show up again but it normally just gets the very very tops of the rocks and now that's done it's time to just add any little extra bits sometimes I add tufts or stones uh, for this base I'm just going to be adding this little white stone it's from the Citadel basing kit I've got a couple of them laying around so I've been trying to use them up a bit and they've got these really white stones in mixed with it and I really like them just as they are without putting paint on them so I'm going to use that and then to attach that it's pretty easy just get an old brush to start with and a little bit of PVA glue let me just put a little bit out on my paper towel so I can nicely put too much on my base and this one's what you want to put it, I'm going to put it where I made that mistake earlier to cover it up just make sure you got a good amount of glue on there Draw a bit of the paint mixes in and the colour changes because you won't notice that. And yeah, only put a brush of glue on it in your water pot when you know you're not going to be painting anymore. I'm not going to be painting after this. Um, and then, yeah, just stick your rock on. And it looks something like that. So I'll see if I can zoom in a bit so you can get a better look at it. But yeah, that's how I do my cave and mountain faces probably going a bit too far yeah, as you can see it's pretty simple it's very quick this is pretty much dry brushing and I think it has a pretty cool effect at the end like I said sometimes I'll put a tuft on one or two of the figures just to add a little bit of extra colour but yeah that's essentially it so as always uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll See you on my next one. Bye for now.